Hello and welcome to Eco Farm. This is episode 10. And we're going to spend, well, this whole episode making some new fields. Quite a few of them, in fact. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the advice of one of my viewers and I'm going to buy a plow, well, this mulch tiller, which will be able to create fields. Um, but it only needs 130 30 horsepower to pull it, horsepower, horsepower to pull it, and of course our um, our tractor, our Hurleyman, is just over 130 horsepower, so should be able to handle it, and that way we won't have to hire any um, any any um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, any fossil fuel. Tractors, so any diesel tractors, in other words. <laughs> oh dear. All right, there we go. Looking good. Um, make it. Well, we're going to have to stick to 3.4 meters. It's not the best in the world in terms of width, but uh, if I go wider than that, then it takes us out of the uh, out of the. Um, pulling range or the pulling ability of our, um, our Hurleyman. Yeah, we've put the weights on it. It just uh, will get it to sink into the ground properly. It's probably going to take a bit more power. So we're going to lease this first, this fir this first time round. If it goes off okay, we will buy it. For future reference, we'll sell our big, big plough. Oh, nearly took that corner too. Well, I did take it too fast, but nearly went over. Here it is now. We'll get that all hooked up and we'll get back to the farm and we'll get started. Yeah, so we're going to make quite a few fields. Um, I think they will must probably all be put to uh, wheat or barley, not sure which one, because um, that's where, where we're going to be focusing our immediate farming or uh, our immediate growing crop crops to be grown, should I say, because with both of those we can put them into the the mill and we can get flour which will go to the bakery and we can also get pig food from it so it's a double crop if, if you get what I mean right let's get around here we came to use utilize this area at the back here sort of opposite where the where the mill and the bakery is and down towards starting off down by the um, by the pig pen so we'll get some odd shapes going of course we don't want to be cutting down any trees I think we'll start down at the bottom here it's probably going to be the best place this is going to be, that's probably the most oddly shaped field, let's put it this way. So off we go. So I'm not going to show the whole um, of the field making, because of course with this 3.4 meter plow, it did uh, take, take a while, let's put it that way. So what we'll do is we'll draw the outlines, we'll show the outlines of each field and then we'll um, jump cut to the end of the making of that field and then that way we can get through all the fields that I've got planned for today. It's a little bit uh, clammy the weather, a little bit rainy, but uh, not too worried about that as long as it doesn't become too sticky. 
seems to be okay at this stage, this light rain. Yes, and these fields are going to be a little bit difficult in terms of, uh, well, not difficult, but um, it's probably not going to be set up ideally for uh, for workers, let's put it this way. But I don't envisage us using workers for quite a while. And by that point, we might be able to invest in, uh, in um, course play workers who of course are a little bit more advanced in the way they um, they plough up and they harvest and such like. They should be able to handle these. When I say odd shaped fields, they're not way out there. This one, as I said, is probably going to be the the way outest, <laughs> if there's such a word, of the fields. The others I don't think will be quite as bad. They'll be fairly similar. They might just be the odd curve here and there as we go around a tree or something. Yeah, I just want to make this quite small, this field, so it's easy to handle. The other fields will be a little bit bigger that um, would lend itself more to sort of workers and such like because it'll just be easier to, to handle in that situation but this one when it narrows down to such a point I think will be easier just to keep it, keep it nice and tight and small maybe we'll put eventually put a, a, a root crop in there something along those lines but for the foreseeable future we'll be concentrating on flower producing crops whoops Forgot to lift the plow. We'll have to sort that out at a later stage. Or do we just make the field a bit bigger? Yeah, it's probably the best way to just make the field a bit bigger. <laughs> it's odd shaped already, so. <laughs> They're going to make much difference. Yeah, I'm still not quite sure uh, how, even when we've got all these, um, we might have to put in a few more moles to be able to increase our production of pig feed. As we start making more money, we'll be able to get onto more efficient ways to produce pig feed but by then we'll probably be so entrenched in the um, in the production of flour and bakery goods that uh, we may not be able to get out of it but we'll see how, we'll see how it goes the overriding factor is of course we need to produce goods that we can supply to our fledgling town and we need it to be produced as eco-friendly as possible. Uh, this field shouldn't take too long to do actually. It should go fairly quickly. So I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, jump cut to the end of producing this field and then we'll move on to the next one. Let's get this last little piece. There we go. That's that done. Put up another one between the end of this field and that tree we just saw to the left hand side. That one up there. So this will also be a fairly small field. Well none of them are going to be huge, huge fields but just 
leave a little bit of space between the fields so that we can at least drive a tractor up and down there. Of course, uh, also allows for all the animals, the small rodents and bugs and such like, to uh, to be able to move around under cover of uh, of the foliage, of the grass, or whatever it might be. That's that side done. Yeah, it's working quite well this plough. Not too disappointed in it. It's just we were doing six metre work. Um, passes, or the width of the pass was six meters with the other plow that we utilized earlier on in the game but of course we had to lease a, uh, a bigger vehicle this way a diesel powered vehicle this way we can use our hurleyman take a little bit longer be a little bit slower but at least we are working with our well, within our eco principles, if you want to call it that. Don't know whether I've left enough space at the top here for decent turning around, but we'll just have to put in some headlands at the top and bottom of these fields. We still have to try and maximize our usage of space as much as we can. Not sure whether I should have squared off the top there or not. Might come back and do it a bit later, I'm not sure. We'll see. Struggling a bit with this uh, plow or tiller. There will be a little kink as we go around the tree here. Seems to have come at a quite a strange angle. Not too worried about that. We're freestyling these fields, as they say. <laughs> That's about right. Sure we could uh, square it off a little bit going up past the tree. Let's probably have a look at that a little while later. Let's just complete this. around there. I've got another we can fit some more productions down at the bottom there across the across the road so yeah it's all looking good. I don't think we'll get to um, to planting these fields in this episode it's probably been in the next episode. 
fairly routine job, so don't quite know whether we will uh, I'll show it all, but still. Oh, it's not too bad. Right, so we just jump cut to the end of that field. We're just going to square it off a little bit at the top here, just to get a slightly better shape on the field. And a slightly better size field as well. I think we'll just take it straight across the top. Yeah, that's, that's better. And we've got to leave a gap just to the other side of the tree as well. Just so that we keep our little bits of grassland between fields. Yeah, so slightly bigger than the last field, but still not a huge field. None of our fields, I think, we, I don't think we should make them too big. Simply because we've got to, um, we've got to work with reasonably small small equipment. Right, that's that field done. We'll get on to the third one now. There'll be one more after this as well. So this should be pretty much straight up and down. Although I thought that was the last one but that didn't uh, apply so <laughs> We'll probably have a little little bit of a kink in the top. Not too worried about that. We'll try and fill in up to the to the tree in the in the grass fields just to the right of us. There we go. Just under the little menu bar. Just curve one round the tree, still leaving a bit of space for a tractor to get up and down. Keep in line with the top more or less. Yep, that's about right, I think. Yeah, so we'll end up with quite a few fields so I think we'll there'll be this one and another one going on in this area we'll have the two four so we'll, by the end of this we'll think we'll have eight fields we'll still be able to work out some fields down where the pig barn is down the down the access past the chicken sheds probably get a couple of fields in there just haven't decided just as yet what we're going to do over there we'll probably look to put some uh, fields in where we can start growing um, crops to be able to put into a, a pig feed production unit which will be a dedicated production unit for um, for making pig feed um, hopefully that will then be able to make us self-sufficient on pig food but um, it's a couple of months before we can plant any of those so I'm not going to worry too much about the, the fields just yet I think in the next episode we will also have corn to harvest 
So that should be good. And I think we can make, in the mill that we have at the moment, I think we can make corn flour, which I think will also give us pig feed. So that's good. Gives us a bit of diversification and also gives us the ability to rotate crops even though we're making um, mill products, so products to be made into into, um, into flour for bread and of course pig feed. Just keep the sort of tops of these fields more or less in line. Won't be exactly in line. As I said, we're freestyling this field, so I'm not too worried. In fact, I don't want them to look all nice and symmetrical. I want to want them to be somewhere in between trying to utilise our land efficiently, with still being kind to the local uh, bugs and rodents and small insects and animals, big animals and that we shouldn't be too much problem because we're not cutting down any forest habitat or anything like that. Well we just about finished this field, one more to go after this. And the, um, the Hurleyman has handled the plough reasonably well. Every now and again it's felt like it just wants to get away a little bit, especially when we're working on the on the cross uh, ploughing um, on the steeper sections of the land. It feels like it wants to slide down, but that's pretty much normal for this type of operation. I'd also want to leave a fair gap in the middle here for expansion, for the farm expansion. So this sort of area that we're driving in now. Yes, yeah, so I want to leave that available for, for farm expansion and uh, maybe some production units or something along those lines. Right, let's get this going now. Where are we going to start? I think we'll go up the hill here. This is probably going to test the, uh, the plough a bit because uh, it's pretty much undulating. It will skirt that sort of rocky outcrop with the tree in the, in, in the middle of it. to the inside of these trees. Also we're getting quite close to the boundary of the farm here now. So uh, we might run into it in fact so that might dictate how the how the shape of this field is but I think it could be quite a big field this one. I think this is going to be the biggest of the lot. Yeah, there we go we've run out of running to the next the next land. We don't have the money to really to buy any more land at this stage. Um, we will of course try to, to expand land as we go along. Right, I, I think what we'll do is we'll just play it reasonably safe, get the basic shape of the field and then I'll come back and um, work this other area out which is pretty close to the boundary fence just to um, maximize our area around that around the um, edge of the edge of our land let's put it that way I 
that's about right. So we can go across to Morris where those trees are and then we'll head on down back towards the farm. And then this will be the last field that we will do for today. And I'll, at this point in time, reasonably happy with that. Of course, it's going to take a it's going to take time for us to to work on these fields because of the small equipment. But we haven't made any that are unmanageably big. But I think these last fields that we've done, you know, should give a fair amount of crop one way or another, provided of course we look after the crop, which we should do. So this is where I was talking about skirting that rocky outcrop as we go down here. Maybe we can just loop slightly around it. We'll see. Yeah, I think, I think that's what I'll do, is I'll just loop slightly around that, just to open up the other, the bottom part of the field as well. it's quite hilly down there so really want to put that into some form of um, crop field I don't think we'll be building too many productions or anything along the, the, those lines there and I don't think we'll be investing in a lot more animals now we've got our chickens we've got our pigs I suppose they may increase, might, might, we might find it lucrative enough um, to increase uh, and put in more pens, coops and pens, but we'll see, that's decisions for later. Right now, we don't have to make those decisions. Yeah, so this is... Uh, not quite a straightforward field, but it's it's got a, it's got its kinks in it. It is a little bit kinky, as they say. <laughs> oh dear. If we square it off from this side, or squarish it off. It's quite a long field. Fairly narrow, but quite long. So I think we'll definitely be getting some decent amount of produce from this crop, should I say, from this, uh, this piece of land. Not to be scoffed at, as they say. That's that then. We should be just about finished now. Just got to uh, finish off this field. Yeah, and that's just about where we've going to end this episode. We're just about finishing with this field. So we've increased our plantable area quite substantially. We'll work on that in the next episode. And I think that's where we're going to end this one. We'll just finish this off. And we'll head on back down to the farm. do hope you've enjoyed this rather, rather straightforward uh, episode. If you have, please like and subscribe. If you're enjoying this series, please like and subscribe. Just before we go, I think I'm going to square off this edge, little edge area here. See if we can get a bit more, a little bit more area going. We don't have access yet. It's, we should be able to get some more out, squeeze some more out at the top here as well.
nearly forgot about taking this. We will definitely be able to get this sorted out here. We're pretty, pretty close to the boundary, so I'm quite happy with just getting that another pass really going up here. That's done it. In any case, now we're definitely going to go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.